Hello. Today we're going to talk about doing a back flush on your Dishmaster faucet. Uh, this is something we recommend people do every time you refill your detergent tank just because it'll keep your system running good if everything's cleaned out every now and again. We are using a model today that has the tank stored underneath the sink. Uh, so that's the models that this applies to. Um, for starters, you're going to need a sponge or a dishcloth or something like that to lay in the bottom of your sink to use for this. Um, go under your sink and get your detergent tank out. If you've routed your detergent tube properly so it's in front of all the pipes underneath your sink, you should have plenty of room to get that up into the sink without stretching it. Okay? Uh, remove the tank lid and uh, dump out whatever's left in the tank. This is a good time to rinse it out and make sure there's no soap residue or anything like that it's stuck in the bottom of the tank. Uh, once you've got the lid off, you're going to see the lid attached to the tube with this U-shaped tube in it. This tube has two holes in it, and I know it's hard to see on the camera, but they are there. One of them's at the bottom of the U-shape, and the other one is at the top where the uh, tube is attached to the lid. Both of those holes have to be clear for your system to work properly. So if you're having any problems with not getting soap, that's one of the first places you should go. So make sure those two holes are clear. And when you do this back flush, you want to make sure that this is down in the sink because you're probably going to get water from both of those two holes and maybe out of the top of the tank lid if everything's running clean. So for starters, turn on a small stream of warm water and then pull up your wand. You can see I've removed the brush from it, so you're going to want to do that. Divert the water to the wand and then press the end of the wand against your dishcloth or sponge that you've got in there and press the red button like you're trying to turn on the soap to wash your dishes and when you do that it'll probably take two hands to press it down in there and you're going to get water spraying out of the holes in your tank lid and I know like there again I know you can't see it very well but trust me it is happening there so once you've got water flowing good and everything flowing clear the back flush job is done so you can shut off the water and then it's time to refill your tank. Fill it up with warm water when you do this and uh, then we think it's easiest if you fill it up with the water and then add the soap. If you add the soap first you get a lot of foam and that type of stuff and it just makes your job harder. So fill it up with water, replace the lid and put it back under the sink and you're all finished. Thanks.